so you suddenly start to see your chicken pass out brown poop or bloody poop but well, let me just say literally you can see blood in their poop and you are beginning to get worried it's even possible that you have used one or two drugs but it's just not going away well join me in this video as i tell you everything you need to know about coccidiosis and how to finally knock it down So welcome back to DIY Agri. I'm your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So if you're just joining my channel, I'd like you to hit the subscribe button. If you think you have interest in videos that talk about poultry farming and how to help you succeed or do better in your poultry farming business, or even if you are trying to go into poultry farming, you need ideas. This is one channel you want to subscribe to and also hit the notification bell if you want to get notifications when I drop new videos. So coccidiosis is very bad. Yes, it threatens the farmer's profit. It, it threatens your profit if you are not careful if you don't do anything about it it will take away all your chickens it can take away your flock so you have to do something about it and one tricky thing about it is you know many people just say okay my chickens are passing out blood in their poop and that's all they know they don't know it is coccidiosis and apart from just knowing it is coccidiosis you also have to understand that there are about nine species of coccidiosis even though about just four to five of them are common but there are about nine species and these nine they are like brothers so they attack your chickens in different ways they attack your birds in different ways so you have to understand what type of coccidiosis what species of coccidiosis or what species of Emera? Emera now is the pathogen, is the organism. So what species of Emera is attacking my flock? So you, you are able to know how to treat it effectively. So in this video, I'll be talking about five. <clears throat> I'm talking about five of the species. These are the five um, most common species. And I'll also be telling you how they attack the birds. It is one thing you want to know. It is it is very important for you to know how they attack your bed so i'm going to be starting with um emira maxima emira maxima attacks the small intestine of your chickens emira brunetti that that also attacks the small intestine of your chickens then emira necatrix that also attacks the small intestine of your chickens yeah I'm, I'm done with those that attack the small intestine now so emira acephalina that is a very terrible one that attacks the duodenum and also emira tenella emira tenella which attacks the sica the sica or the sicum singular so it is very important for you to know that these are the most common species of emira that's coccidiosis causing organism now the causal organism of coccidiosis uh, which is uh, a protozoan parasite it's a protozoan parasite so you have to understand this yes before we continue did you know that there's actually something you should not be giving your birds when you are treating when you are treating coccidiosis yes i want you to make a guess and type it in the comment section before i get to that part where i'll be talking about it yes just make a guess and write it in the comment section what you think you don't supposed to be giving your best when you are treating coccidiosis so let's continue i'll get to that part later let's just ride on you also need to know the drugs that you can use there are drugs there are there are active ingredients i'm going to be talking about three different active ingredients in drugs there are so many drugs that you can use to treat coccidiosis they are I, I can't even name them. You see all manner of cocky, cocky, coxy, cock, this one cock, ampro cock, B blah 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 blah. Some drugs try to combine two or more active ingredients. So I'm going to be talking about three active ingredients that actually arrest coccidiosis. So you know what to look out for in what drug you are buying. And one important information I'm going to be sharing is that sometimes when you use this particular drug to treat coccidiosis on your farm this time, or uh, even just a batch of broiler let's say you use a particular uh, drug to combat it at week two three two to three and you want to treat it again at week five or so you want to ensure that you change you switch you make a switch from what the one you used last to another one and it is only when you know the active ingredient in the previous one that you are able to change effectively some people just buy okay maybe they buy drug a this time which has active ingredient ai and they buy drug B the second time, which has active ingredients AI still. 
but they believe that they have changed the drug but they have not changed it it's just the brand that they changed so you want to make sure that you buy maybe drug c that has active ingredients a i i or a2 so you know the active ingredients in the previous one you have used so that you can look out for another active ingredient that is good and one of the active ingredients that you find is amprolium yeah there are so many drugs that have amprolium inside it some will even come with the name amprolium itself so uh and uh, i think amprococ amprococ too has amprolium amprolium so that is very important amprolium is one of it and also tortrazoril is another active ingredient which is I love to transfer it actually is very effective too and number three is the sulfur drugs there are sulfur drugs too that takes care of coccidiosis so I've listed three now three active ingredients ambrolium protrazoril and then the sulfur drugs so it is important for you to know that and apart from that one other thing that is very key to you combating coccidiosis on your farm is to know how each of these drugs function you may not be able to know it in its entirety like okay maybe you don't understand it in full but let me bring to your notice today that drugs that have amprolium usually target vitamin b1 in the birds because emera species thrive with vitamin b so if you can withdraw vitamin b from the system of the birds for a while you are able to actually deal with emera species so the organism will die so drugs like amprolium inhibits the use of thiamine in the in the body of the birds it stops the emera from getting access to thiamine which is vitamin b1 so one other advice i would like to give you for this reason is that you don't bother to give vitamins to your birds when you are treating coccidiosis don't bother giving vitamin b supplements they don't need it because it will rather help the mirror species to grow it will help the coccidiosis to just multiply within your bed so you want to ensure that you don't give vitamin b i don't know if anybody has told you this before you know some people try to boost their beds you want to give them multivitamin even while you are treating coccidiosis you want to boost them no that is not the time that two three four five days to give them the coccidiosis treatment is not the time to give them vitamin b supplements no 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 don't supplement vitamin b take note of that it is very very important so don't forget i've told you you want to try and alternate drugs you want to alternate between one drug to an, another one drug to another and this will help in the effectiveness of the drug another advantage of rotating these drugs of alternating the drugs is that sometimes uh, a particular active ingredient is better at attacking some species certain species of the emera it may not be able to really deal with the five common species of emera but the one you have used before maybe it attacks uh the emera tenena and emera necatrix for example maybe it, do, it deals with them very well and you still have traces of emera acephalina in your flock so if you alternate the drug and use the other one there's a higher chance that you are able to attack acephalina with that one so don't forget you alternate drugs you don't just stick with embarrassing thoughts and say this is all i want to use you don't just stick with um amprolium and say this is all i want to use you want to try and alternate between the drugs and this will help you to combat coccidiosis one last thing i'll be telling you so that if you know this this will help you maybe this is going to motivate you to go after coccidiosis and deal with it coccidiosis will cause bleeding it will cause hemorrhage that is blood will be coming out of the intestine of your chickens especially the ones that attack the intestine so it, yeah, they attack the intestine the wall of the intestines begin begin to bleed and your bed is not able to assimilate nutrients they won't grow as the hot in fact they don't most of them don't like to eat that much because the digestion process inside the inter intestine is already altered it's already affected so it is just ruining your gain it is ruining your profit so as quickly as possible you want to make sure that you attack coccidiosis on your farm and 
I wish you the best. So don't forget this is DIY hard work. I'm your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. If you think that you love tips like this, if you think you love this video already, I want you to give it a thumbs up. And if you are yet to subscribe, I want you to hit the subscribe button right now and also the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. Thank you and see you in the next one.